fine. But we're gonna make sure that you're going to be warm in your soft and cozy looks that Ellen brings to us because we have Mr. Lou Caputo with us today bringing warm living. This is an electric fireplace and heater in one. You just choose your color of choice here today because we do have two color options. It's on five interest free credit card payments. One thing I do wanna point out, use your friends and family coupon right now and that entitles you to go ahead and save another $25 off. So, Mr. Lou Caputo is here. This Hello. is the easiest way, oh. <laughs> oh. I bring you warmth. Oh, you bring I me bring warmth. I bring you heat. Oh, that feel great. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> but it's ambiance and warmth. All that combined into one. Well, and here's the thing about this fireplace. This is a real piece of furniture. When you look at this, the first thing you're going to notice is that amazing flame effect that's right pretty. there. Yeah. That is like a Hollywood movie effect. I mean, it really does look like a real fireplace. And that's because it's dimensional. When you look at this, this is glass right here on the front, so you can't touch any of this. Oh. But those logs are 3D. You know, they're real, they have texture, they have dimension to them, and then behind that, you've got that flame effect, so it looks like those logs are licking at the back of this. The entire casement on this, the whole frame, the mantle, is all furniture-grade wood. So that's oh. the real stuff right there. This is not particle board. This no. is not some flimsy, you know, thing that you, you know, this is for real. And you can see the grain. We'll get to talk about that more in a second. And this but, is exclusive and brand new and yes. two options. So this is the walnut, this is the dark oak. Uh, this is the walnut, this is the dark oak. <laughs> <laughs> really? Walnut, dark oak, yeah. Oh, okay. Walnut's always darker. So that's Is the walnut, okay, that's the dark oak. Yeah, okay. so here's the thing though, this fireplace, now we talk, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. If it didn't put on any heat, what would it be worth, right? right? This is a full feature heater and it uses infrared heating technology in it, but it's two heating technologies combined. There's the infrared, and you can actually see the infrared tubes in here right there, okay? But then there's a fan inside of it as well. And so it's forcing that air out into the room. So you've got forced air heating plus infrared combined. And that's going to heat objects and people in the room with the infrared red and then all the air by forcing that air out into the room. So you're going to actually be able to lower your thermostat in the rest of the house and do what we call zone heating and stay in that one room and be able to have it nice and toasty warm just like you'd like it. Now, just like you'd expect any heating source to have, this has a digital thermometer built into it right here, okay? So you can actually set the temperature to exactly what you want it to be. It's a 1500 watt maximum heater, but you can also move that down to 1000 watts if you want to. Oh, okay. Now, when you look at this on the front right here, this has all your controls right across the front right there, okay? So let's say for instance, oh, it has a child lock. That's something I've never seen on a heater before. I've never seen that before either. Never seen that before. So you can press and hold that for three seconds. You can lock them out if you want to so the kids can't play with that. This button right here, this is actually going to adjust and there's actually on this guy right here, if I press the button, there we go. You can now see that beautiful oh, yeah, digital yeah. display right there. Now with this button, I can go from low to high to eco mode on this and I'll explain that in a second. Oh. But yeah, so I can adjust the setting on that for how much heat's coming out of it. I can adjust the temperature just by pressing that button. And just like your thermostat at home, when it reaches that temperature, it will turn itself off. And then when the temperature drops below that, it will turn itself back on and heat the room again. Then we can control the flame effect. This is really kind of neat because I can, right now we're at full flame. So if you look at the fire underneath here, if I press it, you're gonna notice it's gonna get dimmer and dimmer until it goes off. Wow. So if I want to, let's say you're a very, very light sleeper and you can't have the light from this, right? right? You can actually have the heat without the light or you can have the, the flame effect, the ambiance, without the heat, your option. This really is a four season fireplace if you Jeez. think of it that way. Uh, and then of course you've got your power button. Now everything I just mentioned to you is also duplicated on the included remote control. Hallelujah, so you don't even have to get <laughs> out of bed, no, right? First thing in the morning when that floor oh, is freezing you know, it's cold, so cold, grab the remote, Hit that and get that heat going first thing before your feet ever touch the floor or from the comfort of your easy chair. You don't even have to get up to adjust it. But let's talk about something here. And the elephant mm -hmm. in the room is this. A lot of people have fireplaces, okay? Yes. How often do you actually use it and how much of a hassle is it to, to use clean. that fireplace? Oh my gosh, and then right? you've got an animal to living up fire. Oh yeah. We have, listen, we, I used to have one up north. Me too. And every time we'd open up that flu, it was like, what's gonna come out of it? Oh, bad We never squirrels. knew. You we never know. knew, yeah. But I mean, think about that. When you build a real fire, and you do it, why? Because it's nice, it's warm, it's cozy, it makes us feel fantastic, right? And we'll, we're gonna bring the lights down there. I want you to see how great these look. Okay. But this is the easy way to do it. You press a button and you've got a fire. Ooh. Look how amazing that looks, right? It looks very realistic, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yep. And that's the kind of thing where you come home after a hard day, maybe you want to open a bottle of wine and you want to sit there and put your feet up. Wouldn't it be great if you could have that wonderful fireplace going for you right there, that ambiance? You know, yes. you can even hang stockings on this if you wanted to. I mean, Christmas is fairly That's soon. That's true. Think about that. Don't forget, too. It's five interest-free credit card payments. We're right. going to ship this to you for free. If you want the dark oak, is it? Yeah, dark oak and walnut. The, the dark oak, by far, is the most popular. I, mm. Oh, now the walnut is. Sorry. Okay, so now the walnut jumped ahead. But in the dark oak, we only have 130 of these remaining. Wow. And it's brand new. It's exclusive. You're not finding it yeah. anywhere else. So you can buy the faux fireplaces that don't have any heat for about two, $300 at your depot stores. Or right. you can buy the little space heaters. They're inexpensive. They're ugly. They're not very safe. Exactly. They come with remote control, right? You want you want the best of both worlds, that's right? That's this. Exactly. No, that's it. And this has got the looks. It's got that wonderful ambiance. And it's the 1500 watt heater. Let's talk about the heating settings on this, too. So Because nice. I mentioned that you have 1500 watts at uh, the high setting, 1000 watts on the low setting, but then we've got oh. the eco mode. Now, what in the world is the eco mode about? When you put this in eco mode, what it does is it keeps it at 68 degrees. Because for, for a lot of people, that's what we like to have our homes at, especially up north. You put it at a comfortable 68 degrees. So what this is going to do is it's going to vary the wattage that this uses to use as little power as possible to maintain that temperature of 68 degrees. It's a really neat feature, and I've never seen it before, because most of the time you're constantly having to adjust high heat low heat oh, high yeah, heat, low you're heat. constantly adjusting it. not not with this guy that you're never gonna have to do that and then again let's talk about that zone heating thing that's so popular is you know a lot of people what they'll do is they'll heat the whole house because you maybe got one room that's drafty that's one true. room that's always cold maybe it's a basement a workshop it could be anywhere maybe it's that room that's at the end of the line from the furnace and it gets really really cold when you have a heater like this, you can bring it into that room, you can just heat that room, the room you're in and not the whole house. I always uh, uh, use this analogy. If you were boiling a pot of water and you had a four burner stove, okay, would you turn on all four burners to just do one pot of water? No. No. But when you're heating the whole house just to uh, heat the room you're in, that's exactly that's what you're doing. Isn't that the truth? That is what we you're do. You're just throwing money out the window. <laughs> that's, I remember living up in Michigan too. Sure. Hot air rises, right? Yes, it so does. So upstairs would be nice and warm, but you go downstairs Freezing it was like cold. an icicle, right? Icicles. That's why you need the zone heating. You do. Well, and then the other thing about this too is it has the infrared technology combined with the forced air, okay? So what I'm going to do is I want to show you something. Notice that you can see when these are on. You can see right there, that's the infrared tube that's inside of this, okay? If I take this thermometer and I put it right here, and I'm going to hold it there for a okay. second, and it's over 400 degrees. Can you see that? Yes. On the inside. But watch this. If I take my hand and I run it along here, do you notice I'm not getting burned? Feel the top, feel the sides. You don't, it doesn't get hot anywhere except this little piece right here. My heat just but, turned off. Yeah, did it? Here, let me help you. I'm going to raise the temperature. Now it came back on again. <laughs> See, all you have to do, using the remote, you can just raise that temperature. But think about this, it's safe for the kids, it's safe for pets, because it's not gonna get hot in the case at all. It no. doesn't get hot in the back, so you can put it up you know, close to the wall. The other thing is it has safety features, like if it tips over, it shuts off automatically. If it senses it's getting into an overheat situation, it shuts itself off automatically. But because it's infrared heat, it's instant heat. Let's say you've been outside, you're shoveling snow, right? Ooh, that's you don't worse. wanna sit there and wait 10 minutes for the room to get warm with some other space heater, okay? This guy with the infrared, that's gonna heat you up instantly. And what that does is it heats objects and people in the room. Wow. So it means like your couch, your furniture, all that stuff. Plus it's gonna heat you. You ever stand out in the sun and just think to yourself, my God, how good does this oh, feel? Oh, and then you feel that warmth. The warmth oh, of the yes, sun. Yes. That's what infrared heat essentially is. It feels like it's the warmth of the sun. It's really nice and soothing heat. But then you get that forced air as well. So over time, it fills the rest of the room Interesting. with that heat as well. Yeah, so the combination of the two is really what you wanna see in a heater. But I'm gonna show you something really neat too because I talk about how this comes on with that instant heat, how beautiful it is. But I want to show you real quick. I've got an infrared camera right here, okay? Oh, so what I'm going to do fancy. is, I am, I am a fancy guy. I'm going to walk over to the one that we have right back here by the Christmas tree, okay? Look how cute that is. Real quick on the dimensions. Yeah, look at that little tableau right it's there. It's 23 by, 23.6 uh, in length. This way. 10 and a half wide and 19.2 right. in height. Exactly. And it's 36 pounds, but let me tell you this much. We're going to ship it to you for free. So that's a big savings right there. Right. So this is, so on this tablet, that's the infrared camera right there, okay? Now you can see right there, really what's going on is you're just seeing the effect of the lights. Watch this. I'm going to bring the heat up on that because it's not even pumping out heat right now. I want you to see how quickly the heat's going to rise on this, okay? So right now, in the immediate vicinity of that, somewhere around 75 degrees, 
Watch how quickly that's gonna start going up and just now it's over 80. Now it's approaching um, 90 degrees. You see that? And it's just heating that area right around that right now. In a few minutes, right where you and I are standing, we'd feel that warmth as well. And that's what's so dramatic about this is how quickly that can heat up a room, how fast that whole area is just gonna get nice and toasty. That, that, I mean, you heated that up pretty quick. Isn't that amazing? I can feel that coming this way. That's what's remarkable about it. I mean, that's, you would never think that amount of heat would come out of something that small. No, you wouldn't think that, but you can see how quickly that comes on. And that's the power of infrared heating. Sorry about that, guys, with the glare. But that's the power of infrared heating. That's the power of having that forced air behind it. Those two things combined is amazing. Now, if you look at the top of this, okay, yeah. and this is the thing that got me. When I first saw this, I was amazed by the heat. I was amazed by the features, the remote control, all of that. But I'm a, you know, I'm a wood guy. So I looked at the top of this one right here. And you see the grain in this. That's this is how wood. you know. This is real wood. Listen to this. I mean, it sounds like somebody's knocking on a door. So this is a solid piece of furniture you're getting. The wood grain that's in this, it's not like particle board. When you get a piece of particle board furniture, okay, and a lot of the fireplaces are made out of that, um, it's essentially a sticker that they put on top of it. So if it gets scratched, you're done. That's it. The sticker's ruined. The effect's ruined. If you look at these side by side, they're all different. They're all unique because the wood grain's different. That's unique. If you scratch it, you know how they make those little wax pens and different things that oh, you can put yeah, on them? Yeah. You can repair it, okay, and make it look new again. That's what's amazing about these. I mean, for this money, to it's get beautiful. something with all these features. Oh, there's a timer on this. I forgot to mention the timer. If you go to bed, and a lot of people, you, when you go to bed, you want to be nice and warm and toasty, but then you want it to kind of cool off a little bit. Because you get a little hot. Yeah. You get a little hot. So you can set a timer on this from zero to 12 hours, and you can use the remote, or you can do it right here where the little clock is, right? Oh. You can set the timer, and it will shut off in the amount of time you put on there. But